Hey everyone, my name is Christine Javier and today I'm going to go over where do I belong on Free Code Camp. So there's a lot being said in these directions, but essentially what the goal here is, is that you're given two arguments. One is an array and the other is just a number. So what they want you to do is insert number into the array, have it sorted, and then just return the index of wherever num is now. So for this example here, where you have an array consisting of two elements, 40 and 60, and a number of 50. You want to add that 50 into this array, sort it so that it's 40, 50, 60, and then just return the index. So it would be an index of one. All right, so that's essentially the gist. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and work in my text editor. So I'm just going to pseudo code my game plan here. Let's see. Step one, insert num into array. Step two, sort array in ascending order. And then step three, find the uh, position of num in sorted array. Step four, return that position. All right, so that's essentially the goal here. Let's go ahead and work on that. Now, um, there is a method called push where you could just um, push in to the array um, anything really, a string, a number, and I'm just going to push in num. So let's return r and see what that looks like. I'm going to console.log. And we're going to expect the push to have to have put 50 at the very end of the array. Let me uh, show you. There you go. So we have 40, 60, 50. So that's where we're at right now. All right, step two. Sort array in ascending order. So now we're going to use the sort method. We're going to set it equal to r, r.sort. And we do this because of immutability. Um, now sort takes in a function, and this is the condition because you could sort it any which way. You could um, set it, uh, sort it such that it, the numbers are listed in ascending order or descending order. So you just want to be aware and play around with what works. So I'm just going to return a minus b. So yeah, it's going to take in two numbers and it's just going to run through the array and sort it um, in order with that. So let's see how r looks like at this point. Good. As we expect, we'd see 40, 50, 60 in ascending order. Now, let's find the position of the num in a sorted array. So we're just going to say, um, and actually let's consolidate step 3 and 4 together. We're going to return r.index of, and then we're going to find num in it. So index of is going to uh, find the actual index of whatever you input. So you could input a string, you could input a number, and I'm just going to input whatever the argument num is going to be. And it should look through the r array and find it and return it to us. So we'd expect it to be at element 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, I'll run it and see what it returns. Good, we have 1. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into free code camp and see if it works out. Awesome. So there you go. Hopefully that helped you out and hopefully you're now familiar with sort and dot index of. Have a good day.